What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. So we're taking a look at a Hot Toys figures. Now this is by no means a brand new figure. Um, I did want to just check this out because I was waiting to get this on a discount over at Sideshow. For whatever reason, I just never picked this figure up. I always thought it was really cool. I love the, um, the blue on the shoulders and the chest piece there. This is the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. Now, it's been out for, I think maybe two years at this point, but I just never picked it up because I've always had my eyes on just other figures and everything. So I didn't really allocate any money for it. But recently just picked it up over at Sideshow. I think it's like the 30th anniversary or something like that. And they had 30% off. So I picked it up for, I wanna say, I think it was like 165 bucks or 175 bucks. That was with tax and free shipping. So I finally got my hands on this. Now, given the fact that I live near the beach, having a shore trooper really made sense for me. So, um, all right, let's get this bad boy open and check this out. So on the inside, as always, we have some beautiful artwork that I always say would make a fantastic poster. I really do like this piece here. All right, here we are. So we got the shore trooper right here. It looks like we got a couple accessories, some hands and everything. So let's pull this out of the box so we can check everything out. Now, again, there's not a lot of accessories here, which is fine. I don't think there's anything under there, so just make sure. Now, like I was saying, this is not exactly a new figure. I just never picked it up, but I do like to show you guys um, some different collectibles because I know a lot of you are here for lightsabers and a lot of you really dig these Hot Toys figures or these random like uh, Coke machines and stereos that I show here. So hopefully you'll like this guy. Now, I, uh, I didn't take any of the plastic or any bits off here, so I gotta pull off everything over here and expose all his parts. <laughs> all right, here he is, uh, all unwrapped with all his bits and parts exposed. <laughs> um, uh, looks like uh, this might have a wire in it. Yep, I think so, maybe? No, maybe not. All right, so that's just flapping in the wind there. So as always, we've got beautiful weathering detail all throughout the chest piece, all throughout the helmet and everything. Uh, they are, Hot Toys is always really amazing on how they, I think they do just print this stuff on, honestly, because I can't imagine they're sitting there by hand weathering all these things all in the exact same spots and all. But we've always got some beautiful, beautiful work from them. They do troopers and accessories and all these, these weathering parts and all that stuff so darn well. Well, honestly, they do pretty much everything really well. There's been a, a few clunkers here and there. All right, so uh, let's get the uh, stand and everything out. Now, it does come with this extra piece here. I'm not 100% sure what this is for. Um, it does look like maybe you can disconnect that there and uh, pop this on as an extra front like that. Um, but I don't see any way of popping this in. So I'm, I'm so used to this being the sand uh, base here that I really don't like. And I figured, hey, Short Trooper is probably gonna come with one of those sand bases. But uh, it came with this more of a, uh, well, it's plastic, but it looks like those sheets that go on floors. And then it came with this really cool decal to just put over it, which I really like, and I'm gonna use that. Uh, it's very glossy, and then there's a matte finish over here on the symbol. So you can see that I'm gonna shine the light through it like that. So we do have that little crotch grabber, which is actually some of my more favorite uh, stands for them. And I'm actually just gonna use this base piece here with the card, because I really like that. I like the fact that it's different, nothing on the other side. I do really appreciate the fact that this is not a sand base, because I am so sick of seeing those stupid things. And I really do like this image that's on there, so that's pretty cool. And we do have four extra hands, so it's three total sets all together. So we've got a fist hand right here. We've got his gun hand. We've got a second gun hand, you know, left and right, and another fist. And then he himself has these two relaxed hands here. So we have a lot of great options. And the other one accessory we do have is his big blaster gun. Now there are some little weathering, uh, just kind of dry brush indications. So I'll just pop this in a different light. You can actually see the weathering and dry brushing all throughout the blaster. Now we have some pretty decent flexibility here, so you're gonna be able to pose them pretty well. Um, the shoulder pads are on pieces of elastic, so they do move around, so they're not really gonna get caught on anything there. The bicep pieces are just kind of free floating. So those will move up and down and kind of slide underneath that pad there. Uh, so you can really get some great articulation in the elbow. And we do have some crunch ability there. Not, not a huge amount of crunching, but we have some side to side 
and forward and a little back there. So you're gonna be able to really get that nice. Uh, so this is actually showing to be a little tough to move the leg around. We do have some really good bend in the knee though, but this uh, here at the hip seems to be a little tough. And right down here, we do have the ankle joint there. Uh, so we're not gonna have any problems with the shoes kind of moving around. We have a lot of flexibility. All right, let's get a closer look at some of the details. Over here on the helmet, we've got some beautiful, beautiful weathering. We've got uh, the logo up there on top. All the way around, let's give him a little, a little turn here. So you can see the helmet all around here. We've got great detail. So you'll notice that on the neck here, it is on a ball joint, so you can kind of move it forward, move it back. Uh, usually how I set troopers and Mandalorians is I push it all the way forward and then down. That usually looks the most natural. And all throughout the back, we have great weathering, lots of scuff marks and everything along the edges, really enhancing the age and the wear and tear from being on the shore and in battles and everything. All that detail goes down all the way into the belt buckle and all of the parts on the side here, all these little cases. Uh, none of them open or remove. So the one thing I am noticing, uh, we do have some fantastic weathering all up and down the armor, but I'm not seeing any kind of weathering, wear and tear or anything on the pants. Um, so I may actually wind up dirtying that up just a little bit, but for all I know, I really would have to research that a little bit. I mean, it might be clean as heck in the movie, but I, I think it looks just a little a little too clean for what the rest of the armor looks like, unless they have some, you know, washing machines and dryers and everything on the base there. But uh, moving down to the boots here, the boots are all beautifully weathered. You know, again, I do wish the pants were just a little dirtied up a little bit. Now the boots themselves here on the bottom, you know, is it me or do they also kind of look a little too clean for being a shore trooper and how the rest of the suit looks. Uh, I do wish there was some mud, maybe some sand. I might actually have to do some of that painting myself just to bring that a little bit more to how I feel it should look rather than maybe how it does look. I don't, I don't know, that's a hard decision there. And right there on the front, we have a nameplate that says Star Wars Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Now, honestly, this is a really, really nice piece. And I think I might actually take it over to the beach Maybe do some photos with it, because this is a super cool trooper. So this is it. This is how I'm going to display him over here in the showcase behind me. I don't know if I'm going to use the stand. I might actually just put him part of something else, but I'm really, really digging this figure. And I'm glad I finally picked it up, because it's been a few years since I've actually wanted this figure. All right, everybody, thanks so much for hanging out. I'll put a direct link to this down below for Sideshow. They do still have them in stock. I'm not sure if they're still doing a 30% off, but they're still there. Uh, they've been there for a couple of years, so if you want to pick up a really cool shore trooper, check out the link below, and I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya!